Well, are you a clean breeze or lavender when it comes to your laundry? There are many choices when it comes to dryer sheets. Mike from Mound uses them, but wonders if he's just throwing pennies down the dryer. So he wants to know, how do dryer sheets work? Good question. Heather Brown joins us now from Rainbow Laundry in Minneapolis. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. Yes, Amelia, with one of our most pressing questions of the day. Now, I'm a clean breeze gal, like a lot of people we talked with today. It's more about the scent and the smell rather than the softness that dryer sheets bring. I mean, there's nothing like that warm, soft shirt with that clean laundry smell just when you take it out of the dryer. Are you a dryer sheet or a fabric softener guy? Dryer sheets. Um, but really, that's because my mom did. Fabric softener. You probably want to add talk to my husband because he does the laundry. I oh, don't do laundry. Well, that's nice to hear. <laughs> you probably don't need a dryer sheet if you use fabric softener. Patrick Richardson is a laundry expert. I didn't even know that existed. Well, somebody has to do it. <laughs> Any idea how dryer sheets work? No. <laughs> None at all. First, the sheet neutralizes the charges in our laundry. The static wants to go into this felted fiber because it's more attractive. It would be like a, like a lightning rod. And then covers your clothes with something similar to fabric softener. The lubricating substance sort of coats, for lack of a better way to put it, the fibers so that they don't rub against each other. You can feel the substance. Mm -hmm. What does this melt in the heat? It actually just rubs on. So when the clothes toss, mm -hmm. this just tosses in with them and it tosses onto the clothes like butter on your popcorn. They are <laughs> magic little pillows of <laughs> scent. You don't use dryer sheets. I'm not, I don't use dryer sheets. Why not? I just use tight. It changes the feel mm -hmm. and I want that that crisp feel of cotton. Your socks never stick to your t-shirts? No. A so true purist. I kind of am. A, I, I have a love of textiles. I can't help it. Instead, he balls up tinfoil. This is my favorite tip ever. And throws it in the dryer. The static fires in all the little pockets of the aluminum foil. Who knew we could stand here and talk about dryer sheets for 15 minutes? Well, we could talk about dryer sheets all day. <laughs> And Patrick says his aluminum creation is like a dryer sheet, but without that lubricating coat, he says he uses his up to 65 times. Now, he also admits to using dryer sheets when he's drying his fleece because he says you can't usually use fabric softener on your fleece or on your towels. And one other little secret he told me, one I actually already knew, you use uh, little dryer sheets on your hair in the winter time if you have yes. them. Some static problems like oh, I really? do. Oh, really? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, Does and then your hair smells like clean breeze. Or yep. his own show? Mm hmm. <laughs> yep. I like Patrick's idea about the aluminum ball. Who knew? Yeah. Does he I have know. his own show or blog, Heather? He should, though, shouldn't he? <laughs> For sure. A lot of no, information. No, I know he doesn't, but I told him he should start a blog and a show. Yeah. And people, he said people come to him all the time with their laundry questions, and he loves talking about it. Well, I'm glad you, you found tell. him. He was great. Yeah. Yes, he was. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to WCCO.com slash links.